Warning, this video contains spoilers for Digimon Data Squad. Alrighty, I've heard you loud and clear. From Adventure to Zero Two, through Tamers and Frontier, we've covered the early seasons of Digimon quite well on this channel when it comes to custom art. But the kinda last season of the first Digimon era could do with some more love. And I agree, I've just been waiting for the right time. So Data Squad or Savers, depending on your preference, a season full of interesting story and lore, but so much unexplored what if potential. And an idea I always really liked was kind of following suit from Adventure, which Data Squad does homage slightly, would be to give Shine Greymon and Mirage Galgamon their very own fusion or DNA Digivolution alongside Omnimon and Imperialdramon. But just one form isn't enough, so on today's video, I'm going to be giving the Digimon Data Squad or Digimon Savers partners their very own DNA Digivolutions. What is up, Digital Companions? Before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Baiyi. You know Baiyi by now. They are the proxy service getting you access to all the goods you want from Japan. On websites like Yahoo Japan Auctions and Shopping, Makari, Rakuten, Japanese eBay, Amazon JP, and more. For example, let's jump into Yahoo Japan, search up the Digivice IC in English or Japanese, and look at the results. If you are a Digimon Savers fan, you could get yourself an absolute bargain with Baiyi. Or maybe you want to get yourself one of the more recent Digimon toys, like for example, the Digivice V. Well, to do that, you can install Baiyi's browser extension, which lets you shop on websites like Amazon JP, for items like the Digivice V, add to your cart, but then check out with Baiyi. And when you sign up with my link in the description, you will get a 2000 yen coupon off any purchase through Baiyi. Even when you use that browser extension to check out from Amazon JP. So you could get a 2000 yen discount on a Digivice IC, a Digivice V, or basically any anime, tokusatsu, or anything else items you can think of from Japan. So thank you to Baiyi for sponsoring this video, and let's get to it. What is up, Digital Companions? My name is Carney X, and welcome back to another the video and yes today we are giving DNA Digivolutions to the Data Squad partners thanks to the wonderful Weirdo Mon who you should definitely be checking out on Instagram and Twitter links are in the description down below and as I said in the intro it's not all about Shine Greymon and Mirage Galgamon today as we'll also be giving custom DNA Digivolutions to Lalamon and Falcomon, Kudamon and Kamemon, Pawn Chessmon Black and White and the first of our list Belfamon and Bancho Leomon. This is a really fun thematic pairing as both Digimon contain a human within them somewhat, with Spencer Damon being within Bancho Leomon and Karata awakening as Belfamon Rage Mode. To me, on a story level, this DNA Digivolution of Belfamon Rage Mode and Bancho Leomon has to be the work of Karata to create a DNA Digivolution of Digimon and human consciousnesses, but also his Gizmon lackeys getting folded in to result in Berserkamon, a fiery manticore fusion of Balfamon Rage Mode, Bancho Leomon, and Gizmon Data. This demon beast Digimon would be an apocalyptic threat with its Megiddo Eraser attack, and likely require our heroes to also DNA Digivolve to try and combat it and free Spencer Damon slash Bancho Leomon in perhaps a similar episode to episode 37 of Data Squad, where Balfamon needed taking down by Shine Greymon Burst Mode. And so the first of our heroes rose to rise to the occasion would be the pawns. <laughs> That is Pawn Chessmon, the partners of Miki and Megumi. As the Chessmon line kind of takes care of every chess piece, it makes sense to me that the DNA Digivolution of these two should go beyond. We never actually saw their Megas in the show, but given their ultimates are Rook Chessmon and Bishop Chessmon, we can work on that assumption and fold in all the Chessmon evolutions, including King Chessmon and Queen Chessmon, to create the end game of chess. The ultimate conclusion to the entire game of chess, and that is Checkmate Mon. We're Mon was inspired by Megazords for this design and I think it came together perfectly. The king and queen chess pieces merged with every other piece as well as the chessboard itself to create a mighty and speedy warrior of good and an excellent tactician. I am particularly hugely fond of the pawn chessmon head projectiles and the queen chessmon motif on the shield. Such a badass form. And then is our commander of dats Richard Sampson and his faithful friend Homer Yashima's Digimon partners 
Kudamon and Kamemon, and their show Canon Megas, Kentaurusmon and Jumbo Gamemon, fusing together to become Longuimon. This design comes from the legendary Chinese Turtle Dragon, which is a nice combination of the two lines. The entire Kudamon line references East Asian mythological creatures of different kinds, and of course Kamemon's line references creatures such as the Kappa and the Journey to the West. So a Turtle Dragon, the Longui, felt like a great natural combination of the two. This would be a serene but powerful ultra-level Digimon, and would likely even commune with the great Digimon sovereigns with whom it shares a digital area. Its water and crystalline attacks would also be instrumental of dispensing of Berserkamon and any foes beyond. And then of course has to be Rosemon and Ravemon. This is an interesting merging of partners made more necessary by the fact the other partners I picked in this video make more sense, but I still think the fusion of bird and plant makes for something incredibly striking and unique in Basanmon, getting its name from the Basan or Basabasa, a mythical bird of Japanese folklore, which can breathe ghost fire from its mouth. Basanmon keeps that tradition going by smoking a pipe it uses to control its ferocious ghost fire. Weirdomon kept Rosemon's signature orb attached to its plumage, while I think creating an Ultra Digimon that feels very evocative of both Lalamon and Falcomon's line. Of course, the grass themes of Lalamon and the traditional Japanese elements of Falcomon, Pekmon, and beyond. Basanmon being able to to expel its ghost fire attack would be strong enough, but its ability to fly at Mach 10 and deliver devastating waves of its Basa Basa Blast with its wings makes it a fierce opponent for any evil Digimon that dares cross it. And then finally, the one you've all been waiting for, Shine Greymon and Mirage Galgamon's fusion. Being a mega level fusion of a Greymon variant and a sort of Garurumon stand-in, but we also thought it would be a great opportunity to include the style present in Susanumon as well. The other no notable mega or ultra equivalent fusion Digimon from Saver's immediate predecessor season, Frontier. And there's even a little twinge of Imperial Digimon thrown in for good measure. And so, through shared hope and determination, the Shining Mirage forms to become Glorymon. I settled on the name Glorymon because I felt it fit the light-related names of Shine Greymon and Mirage Gaugamon, both involving lights, one being a shining light and one being a trick of the light. But of course, Shine Greymon also has an attack called Glorious Burst. And there is a church song that has the lyrics Rise, Shine, and Give God Your Glory, and I figured Godmon might be a bit on the nose. So we get to continue the Rise and Shine trend with Rise, Shine, and Glory. And Glorymon also starts with a G, which Gao, Gauga, Mac Gauga, and Mirage Gaugamon also all prominently feature. This would be a tremendously powerful Digimon that would do all it could to take down Berserkamon. A detail I particularly love is the way Weirdomon folded in the prominent red and blue color scheme of its predecessors, Mirage Gaugamon and Shine Greymon, into those shoulder pads, which are a callback to both Susanumon and Omnimon, but in a new place, to those two Digimon. But Weirdomon also kept that red and blue theming throughout the entire design. But this is Data Squad or Savers. So while we are introducing a new type of evolution to this season, we do also have to pay homage to this season's own gimmick, if you will, by giving Glorymon its own mode change to Glorymon Burst Mode, ascending past a power never thought imaginable. Glorymon Burst Mode converted its body to pure harder than diamond crystal, evoking but feeling unique to Omnimon on merciful mode. The Digi Aura has erupted from this beyond ultra level Digimon, allowing it to wield both of Shine Greymon Burst Mode and Mirage Galgamon Burst Mode's weapons to defeat Berserkamon once and for all. So that's it, our DNA Digivolutions for the Digimon Data Squad partners. I love all of these designs, Weirdomon did a fantastic job. Let me know your favorite in the comments down below, but of course be respectful to all of the designs. And please do go follow Weirdomon on Instagram and Twitter, as I said, links are in the description. Huge shout out to my sovereign ZDK for who has been a sovereign for an entire year now. Holy moly. ZDK14 sovereign status has supported this channel through thick and thin and meant that I can do more custom art videos like this when we don't have sponsors, but shout outs to Baye. So thank you so much ZDK14 from the bottom of my heart for your intense support of this channel. It means the world to me. Also huge shout out to my Digi Destined Tamers Khan Club and Twitch subs. Unfortunately, I am leaving Twitch and I'm going to be streaming on Khan E Extra, which you should check out below me right now. We're going to be doing tons more Digimon and non-Digimon gameplay play videos, streams, reactions to things like Nintendo Direct, which is super fun. And obviously as October is coming, we're gonna be doing a lot more spooky games for the October season. So make sure you go check out Carney Extra. It would mean the world to me, my second channel. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time when we go digital. Bye bye.